Okay, so right now we've arrived in Cusco, Peru. The flight from Arequipa was 45 minutes, really smooth, really nice. We're really feeling the altitude at the moment um, and we've just taken some altitude pills and hopefully that should set us straight. That's right, those altitude uh, pills are actually made from um, coca leaves. So it's probably, it's, it's, it's probably as good as actually licking and, and chewing the leaves themselves. All right, so currently we're waiting for a taxi and hopefully we should be able to check into our hotel soon. Okay, let's go. We have arrived at a hotel in Cusco, in Casandina Premium. Right now we're currently in the lobby um, having a, uh, a, a coca tea. Um, this will actually help us acclimatise. It's got a very nice um, view to the foyer. It's got all these beautiful old paintings uh, and it's very... Uh, Quite an lovely. opulent hotel. Okay, so it's day one here in Cusco. Um, we're here for three nights, um, and we've also got a tour booked um, to go to Machu Picchu, and we're thinking we might do some other tour as well, because there's just so much to see and do around here. Um, we've just walked from our hotel room um, to a pizza place, because we felt like pizza, and on the way here, there was just so much history um, that I didn't know where to look. But all up, um, we're still acclimatizing. Um, slowly, slowly, we've drunk the cocoa leaves, which was actually quite beneficial. Uh, at the moment, feeling not too bad, and hopefully um, I continue to feel like this over the next few days. So, I'm still acclimatising to the Cusco um, altitude. I'm still kind of out of breath, so I definitely recommend that you uh, take uh, altitude tablets and or you have the cocoa uh, tea, uh, which will help with the altitude sickness. And as I talk to you, I'm still kind of out of breath. Right behind me, you have a bit of a replica of what the, um, the initial Incan um, constructions were like. As we were walking from our hotel to uh, this current restaurant, we came across some of those old buildings. And it's just amazing how big the blocks were and how neatly they were put together. Um, so there's a lot to see in this city. Okay, so we are in the main square here in Cusco. It is like literally walking back in time. The buildings are amazing. Um, I could spend hours here just looking at the fine detail and everything. Cusco was also the capital city of the Inca Empire and this is where its administrative and central power was before the Spaniards arrived. We'll do a bit of recording around the plaza but um, you've got some very historic buildings here and before that there used to be temples from the Inca era um, which when the Spaniards uh, came here they bulldozed them and they kept the foundations and just built upwards. So it is, uh, I guess this place has been inhabited for thousands of years.
getting my shoes cleaned for five soles, which is probably about, I'm not sure, two dollars? So today is day two here in Cusco and we have booked ourselves into a walking tour around the city. Currently we are in Santo Domingo which is a convent. This convent was actually built or consecrated in 1633. It's of the Dominican order. Um, the convent actually was built uh, on top of um, Inca ruins. As you will see, we will actually show you some of the old structure on how the convent was built upon on top of that. There, was, there has been some damage to this convent over the years, notably uh, on the 1650 earthquake, um, just to name a few. Quite an interesting building, um, yeah, very, very beautiful indeed, and it has a beautiful courtyard as well. So right behind me, as Sebastian said, these are the original uh, walls that were constructed by the Inca. Okay, so right now we've come to a location called Saxe Woman um, and that is located about 200 meters above Cusco. Um, this place was a fortress and it has an interesting history in that a lot of the, uh, the fortress material was used or plundered um, to build uh, a lot of the, um, the structures uh, that we now see in modern day Cusco. 
Saxe Woman is also an important archaeological site. Arturo was telling us how um, the archaeologists have actually found lots of broken pottery and the pottery uh, has come from all over the, uh, I guess, the Inca world at that time, from the coast, from the high, from the mountains, from other places, etc., etc. And the people used to come here and they used to actually break the pottery to mimic the sound of thunder. So it's believed this site, uh, Saxe Woman, was a fortress, but it's also believed for it to be a bigger complex, a more of a, a ceremonial complex. They've also have found bones of llamas and other types of creatures, which were used as offerings to the gods. Um, so this place has a lot of history. Like Jeremy was saying, the Spaniards, when they conquered the area, they used a lot of the stones as well to build the houses in Cusco and some of the cathedrals, etc., etc. But nonetheless, this place they still are learning more about it very recently they actually found a door and the archaeologists were quite puzzled why there was a door that was leading underground and they found this old chronicle from um, the early days of the Spanish colony uh, where kids used to play here where they would go um, into this actual door to find an underground city the um, at the moment the archaeologists are still finding out what it is but what they believe is it could be more of a underground temple uh, more to come I suppose in the future